Hello everybody and good evening. My name is Sword Darkchild and welcome to Let's P Replay Majora's Mask. And this time, I am going, just like with Ocarina of Time, actually, uh, this time I'm going with my name instead of Link. The world of this Zelda game has kind of been begging for me to play this game for quite some time, so I thought I'd finally play this and get it out of the way. I played it twice, once on the N64 and the other time on the 3DS. In Hyrule, Oh, there Eric goes a legend, a legend held by the royal family. He about a boy who, after battling evil, saving Hyrule, crept away into a land. Sorry, I'm trying to read these as fast as I can, but they're going way too fast for me to read. It basically takes place after. Ocarina of Time, and Link just set out to Termina to look for his, uh, missing friend, uh, Navi. Ouch. <laughs> you two fairies did great. I wonder if he has anything good on him. Huh? This guy? Well, that shouldn't be a problem. Ooh, what a pretty ocarina. Hey, Skull Kid, let me touch it. I want to see it. can't, Teal. What would it do if you dropped it and broke it? No way you can't touch it. Ah, uh, but sis, why can't I try it out too? Don't try this at home, kids. This is gonna hurt really badly if you do. And throughout this playthrough of uh, Majora's Mask, it's either gonna go like it did in uh, the N64, where I didn't do 100% everything, or like in the 3DS, where I did do 100%. I did enjoy reading the manga of this uh, game, as well as listening to the game theories that uh, Game Theory does for this game, based on 
explain how Link is dead in this game and that all five locations that you visit in this game are uh, representatives of the uh, five stages of grief. I missed. Oh, and pay no attention to these. These are pretty much just spoilers for what's on going on ahead of the game. <laughs> what a stupid horse of yours. It doesn't listen to a word that's said to it. There's no point in writing that thing like that. So I did you a favor and got rid of it. <laughs> ah, boo-hoo. Why the sad face? I just thought I'd have a little fun with you. Oh, come now. Do you really think... That was way too fast for me to read that. Hey, that's a good look for you. You'll stay here looking like that forever. Is this? Wow, wow, Skull Kid, don't leave. Wait for me. I'm still here. Tattle, you can't leave without me. You. If I wasn't dealing with you, I wouldn't have gotten separated from my brother. Well, then you shouldn't have stopped me in my tracks. Well, don't just sit there, Deku Boy. Do something. Why are you looking at me like that? What? Is there something stuck to my face? Will you stop staring and just open that door for me? Please, come on. A helpless little girl is asking you, so hurry up. Oh, Teal. I wonder if that skull child hold will be all if that child will be all right on his own. So guessing out of the two of you, I'm gonna say you're the older. Bye! Hey, wait for me! Don't leave me behind! So, um, that stuff back there. I, um, apologize, so... So take me with you. You want to know more about this skull kid who just ran off, right? Well, I just so happen to know of an I have an idea of where he might be. Take me with you and I'll help you out. Deal? Please? Good. So then it's settled. Now then, I'll be your partner, or at least until we catch that skull kid. My name's Tattle, so uh, it's nice to meet you or whatever. 
now that we've got all that straightened out, we can stop messing around and get moving. And first new ability, you can go inside these plants and fly for a short time. And the longer you stay still, you'll slowly hover down, but at least you'll be able to stay in the air for a bit longer. A Deku Nut. If you're flying and you pressed B, then you can drop those things on your enemies. Kind of like I did there when I didn't really mean to do that. Pretty much uh, doing the tutorial thing of talking to her with Z and uh, C1. Let's take a closer look at that tree, huh? It's strange, but the way you look right now sort of looks like this tree. It looks all dark and gloomy. Almost like it could start crying at any second now. How sad. No turning back now. You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? <laughs> I own the Happy Mask Shop. I travel far and wide in search of masks. During my travels, a very important mask was stolen from me by an imp in the woods. So here I am at a loss. And now, I found you. <laughs> now, don't think me rude, but I have been following you. Stalker. For I know of a way to return you to your former self. If you can get back the precious item that was stolen from you, I will return you to normal. In exchange, all I ask is that you get back my precious mask that the imp stole from me. What? It's not a simple task? Why, someone like you should by no means be a difficult task. Except, the one thing is... I'm a very busy fellow, and I must leave this place in three days, no more, no less. How grateful I would be if you could bring it back to me before my time here is up. <laughs> but yes, you'll be fine. I see you're of young and have tremendous courage. I'm sure you'll find the, it right away. Well then, I'm counting on you. Okay. Dawn of the first day. 72 hours remain.
He gives me the creeps. That mask salesman was the... Sorry. Just thinking out loud. But three days? Even if we're never sleeping, that still leaves us with measly 72 hours. Talk about demanding. Well, don't just stand there. We're going to see the Great Fairy. Look, you want to find the Skull Kid, don't you? The Great Fairy will know what he's up to. He wa She watches over everything. And just between you and me, the Skull Kid is no match for the Great Fairy. So go to the shrine near the North Gate. You'll find the Great Fairy in there. Mm-hmm. Actually, before I do, we're gonna go over here. Wait, wait, hang on! I was planning on doing you for much later in this video, but okay. This is my private property. Don't try using it when I'm not around. Oh, and beware of the dogs in this town as you're a Deku scrub. They like to attack you. If we go now to the uh, Great Fairy, we'll find that she's been uh, scattered into pieces, and we have to collect one of these to uh, put her back together. The missing fairy sprite is here in this area during the day, and in East Clock Town at night. I just thought I'd save us some time by getting that piece of the fairy now. As for collectibles like the masks, I'll be showing how to get those, but the pieces of heart, there are a total of 52, I think, in the N64 version we're playing. So I'm gonna show some of them, but not all. I mean, it would take too much time to show all of them. And we're pretty much on the clock here. Oh no, the Great Fairy! Don't worry, Tal, we just got the last missing piece of her that's gone, so she'll be back to normal right about now. And you, young one, are not the altered shape. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I am the great fairy of magic. I thought that masked child was helping me when I grew careless. All I can offer you now is this. I shall grant you the magic power as a sign of my gratitude. Please accept it. And there are many of these guys we gotta help out. And I gotta be sure to visit her again when I'm back to my normal self. Because we'll get one more gift from her once we're in human form again. And we gained the last of the Deku Link's uh, abilities. We can now shoot bubbles! Which we're gonna need in order to get to the next area. Let's see, let's gather some rupees. Wrong button, wrong button. Okay, first up, we're gonna shoot you down. The fan favorite, Tingle. What's this? Green clothes? White fairy? Sir, could you be by chance be a forest fairy? Oh my! My name is Tingle! 
I think I am the same as you, sir. A forest fairy. Alas, I am already age 35. No fairy has come to me yet. My father tells me to grow up and act my age. But why? I tell you, Tingo is the very reincarnation of a fairy. Now, while I stand here waiting for a fairy of my own, I shall sell you a map. I sell map to help out my father. Lucky, lucky, you're so lucky to have a fairy. I know, I know, we should be friends. Yes, yes, in exchange, I will sell you a map for a cheap as a sign of my friendship. Will you buy one of Tingle's maps? Yes, I will, for five rupees. And it's on map Clock Town. However, when we, I see two more, one on the roof, which is gonna jump because he's holding a cuckoo, trying his best not to uh, get tagged from me, and this is number four. Not now, Tattle, I'm busy. Gotcha. Two more to go. And there's one more up there. We can get to him easily with this flower. That's number three. All right, one more to find. West Clock Town. And there's the last kid, number two. Ah, uh, no way, you finally caught me.
You're pretty good for a Deku scrub. If only you were human. Then we could give you the original Bomber's Notebook and make you an honorary member. What do you think, guys? No way! No scrubs! I guess not. Once we let some kid who wasn't human join our gang, and boy, did we ever regret it! Sorry. But I'll teach you the code, just like I promised. I can tell you only once, so pay close attention. Are you ready? The code is... The code is 15423. 15423. Okay, that should be easy to remember. And we're gonna have to do uh, hide and seek again as human to uh, get the book. However, in the 3DS game, you had to, uh, had to, uh, just get turned back by the, uh, happy mask salesman, and he gives you the book for some reason. Now then, let's go talk to that mask, to the, uh, guy. Nice little trick you can do as a uh, Deku scrub. There was a spider behind us, but we can just go around him. Okay. We don't need magic, because we got plenty of that for now. But for the beginning part of the game, this is the best place to get money. looking kid has come to join me today. Are you a new friend of the Bombers gang? Hmm. Your manners seem much better than those mischievous friend from the other day. <laughs> that ill mannered troublemaker from the other day said he'd take break my instruments. He said he'd steal my moon's tear. There's no stopping him. Even now, just watch him. He's probably causing trouble around Clock Tower. The Clock Tower, huh? There he is. Well, did you find that troublemaker? And that loud noise, what was that? Perhaps another moon's tear has fallen nearby. Go through that door and take a look outside. But I wonder just what troublemaker got on top of the, oh, that troublemaker got on top of the clock tower. The only way up there is through the clock door. And that opens only on the eve of the festival. Okay then. Yeah. 
Okay, he's just gonna say the same thing. And until we can get to the clock tower on the midnight of the third day, I will mostly be breaking these pots, gathering money for ahead of time. Hey, yo, baby, I'm a styling scarecrow, wandering in search of a pl pleasant music. Time will pass in the blink of an eye of an... Uh, in the blink of an eye if you dance with me. If you like, baby, we can forget about the time and dance until the night. Uh, no thanks. I know it. Okay, uh, when I come back, I will meet you in Clocktown during the night of the final day. So, see you then. And we only got like three minutes left until midnight on the final night. And as you can see, probably tell from two certain items whom sets changed on my screen here I've been busy since I last talked to you I got us I sold us the uh, moon's tear so that we can get up to the clock tower and I also got us a bigger wallet which uh, will hold 200 rupees <coughs> How did I get it? Well, I, uh, saved up 200 rupees into the bank. And since it's close enough to midnight by, like, less than two minutes now. Almost. We'll just fly up here and wait for the remaining minutes. And get our first, uh, piece of heart. We only gotta wait one more minute. There are a few more pieces of heart here. One of which is if you reach a certain amount for putting more rupees into the bank. One is on a one or two in a mini game, and one hidden on one of the rooftops, I think. And then I think that's just about it for this town. And since it's midnight, the clock tower is about to open. In we go. Looking all over for you too. Hey, Skull Kid, what if you give have that mask you're wearing back now? Come on, are you listening? Swamp, mountain, ocean, canyon. Hurry, the four who live there, bring them here. Don't speak out of line, stupid fairy. No! What are you doing to my brother? Skull Kid, did you... Do you still think you are our friends after that? Well, whatever. Even if they were to come now, they wouldn't be able to handle me. Just look above you. If it's something that can be stopped, 
than just try to stop it. Unfortunately, there's not a lot we can do except this. because you guys reincarnate. I'll never forget the days we spent together in Hyrule. And I believe in my heart that a day will come when I shall meet you again. Until that day comes, please, take this. I am praying, I am praying that your journey be a safe one. If something should happen to you, remember this song. of time is protecting you. Snap out of it! What are you doing lost in memories? Get yourself together! Getting an old ocarina back isn't gonna help us. Somebody! Anybody! Got us a time! Help us, please! We need more time! Huh? Where did you get that instrument? take a journey through time. happened. Everything has... Started over? Well, what are you anyway? That song you played, that instrument. Mm -hmm. 
That instrument! Wait, that's it! Your instrument! The mask salesman said that if you got uh, back the precious thing that was stolen from you, he could return you to normal! Did you completely forget for what? No, we haven't forgotten. It just took us three days to get it back. Were you able to recover your precious item from that imp? Oh, you got it! You got it! You got it! You got it! Then listen to me. Play this song and I am about to perform and remember it well. This is a melody that heals evil magic and troubled spirits, turning them into masks. I'm sure it will be of assistance to you in the future. Ah, uh, yes. I gave you this mask in commemoration of this day. Fear not, for the evil has been sealed inside the mask. Even if you wear it, you will transform into the shape you just were. When you remove it, you will return to normal. <laughs> now, I have fulfilled my promise to you. So please, Give me which you promised me. Don't tell me. My mask. You did. Get it back, didn't you? What have you done to me?! If you leave my mask out there, something terrible will happen! The mask was stolen from me! It's called Majora's Mask! It is an accursed item from legend that is said to have been used in ancient tribe of Xing Trials. It is said that evil and wicked power is bestowed on the one who wears that mask. According to legend, the tribe cursed by Majora's mask were so great. The ancient ones fearing such catastrophe sealed the mask away in shadows forever, presenting its mi misuse. But now the tribe is from legend has vanished, so no one knows who's the true nature of the mask. But I feel it. I went to great lengths to give that legendary mask. When I finally had it, I could sense the doom of a dark omen brewing. It was that unwelcome feeling that makes your air stand on end. And now that imp has it. What? I'm begging you. You must get that mask back. Quickly, or something horrible will happen. 
I'm begging you, I'm begging you, you must do it! Really? You'll do it for me? I'm certain you would tell me that. You'll be fine, surely you can do it? I believe in your strength. Believe. Okay. That mask. The Skull Kid uses the power of that mask to do horrible, terrible things. Well, whatever. Here it takes. We've got to do something about it. Swamp, mountain, ocean, and canyon. That Teal was trying to tell us about. I bet he was referring to the four areas out just outside town. There's one in each camp this direction. But... Do, what do you suppose he meant by the four who are there? I have no idea. He always skips important stuff. I guess we should just go and find out. If we go through that gate straight ahead, we'll be heading in the direction of the swamp. And we will next time in Let's Play Majora's Mask. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like and subscribe button, leave a comment if you want, and until next time, this is Sora Darkchild, signing off. Have a good night, folks.